Do you hate Gary V? What? Not again. A question that I get asked often these days is, do I hate Gary V? And the answer is no. Why would I hate him? In fact, why would I spend the time hating anybody? You know, I think it's because I posted something on Instagram about Gary and people being fans. That's why there's a perception that I hate him. But seriously, I don't have the time to hate anybody. I'm going crazy here thinking about the headlines for the magazine. So writing headlines, especially when you sell a magazine, the most important part is the cover page. And you need to come up with great headlines. And I've been jacking my head coming up with great headlines. I have all these headlines here. I need to finalize one. No, actually, I need to finalize five headlines for the cover page. And it's a task. So I'm searching for the editor's hat. It's a hat that I wear, and that's when I can write great headlines. Sandy, have you seen my editor's hat? Um, check there in my wardrobe. Oh, it's here. Got it. This is the hat that I was talking about. Now that I'm wearing the hat, let me talk to you about the headlines. Let's go. But before I talk about why was I looking for the hat and what's this got to do with the headline, let me complete the Gary Vee point. No, I don't hate Gary Vee. Why should I hate him? I do not have the time to hate anybody in this life because there's so much to do and more props and more power to Gary Vee for whatever he's doing. He's a great dude and more power to him. Let's fight. So the hat, I need the hat when I am writing headlines. I don't know, there's some sort of an association that I developed long back. So whenever I need to come up with a great headline, I usually wear a hat and that's when I can write great headlines. Right? 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 right. <laughs> cool. So the power of headlines. Whenever you plan to write a headline, make sure it has two elements. One is numbers. Because numbers usually get a lot of clicks, right? Go! So make a point to incorporate numbers in your headlines and number two, have some sort of a benefit with curiosity. These three things combined create a great headline that's click worthy or that sells the products. And I learned this from one of my copywriting mentors long, long back. He, you know, whenever he used to write a copy, he used to wear blazer, you know, in the and you know, get really dressed up before he actually wrote a copy. So everybody has a different pattern. See what's the right one for you. With the hat on, I know I will zero down on the headline, uh, headlines for the cover page of my magazine. So that's the update for today. Tomorrow I might reveal a couple of headlines for you guys and dissect the headlines. It's we kind of signing off for today and I don't hate Gary Lee. Uh, and I don't hate anybody. I don't have the time to do that. Neither should you. It's your life. Make it large. Bye. Subscribe. You are slow. You are slow.